Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am obviously here for a Fancy Pants Special Edition unboxing. This is the Beacon Book Box, Five Dark Fates Box. And if you guys have not seen any of the Beacon Special Edition unboxings that I've done in the past, I will leave some links down below. They are some of like the best unboxings in my opinion. I don't know what they do with their special edition boxes, but they are always jam packed and they always manage to get like top of the line artists and all of the stuff is just like, it's so worth the money in my opinion. So I'm going to get into this. Obviously this is for the Three Dark Crowns series by Kendara Blake. Everybody knows the series. Everybody loves the series. Mine is not in frame. It's right over there if you can't see it. I think this is one of the most unique series that's on the market, in my opinion, as far as like YA fantasy goes, because it's just like really uniquely written. It's pretty dark, which like little old me loves that, but uh, I'm a big fan of it. So let's get into this. I am so excited. No one really wishes to be a queen. Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake. Okay, let's get in. This is packed full because, oh my god, I'm pretty sure this is a blanket right here. So this is what we see when we first open the box. This is going to be our spoiler card, so we're gonna put that aside, but look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. So, let's pull this out. Oh my god, this is huge. This was like half the box. This, I'm pretty sure, is a full-size police blanket. I'm gonna need to stand up to show you guys this. Like, I'm gonna need to move the camera way back and show you guys this. One second. Can you see it? Hello, I'm right here. It's huge. It's all the way to the ground. Can you guys read it? Because I can't read it yet and the viewfinder is way too far away for me to read that. And I don't have my glasses. Your girl's blind. Three dark sisters, all fair to be seen, two to devour, and one to be queen. Ooh, that is lovely. Look at this. Look at it. Oh my god, can you see the whole thing? Beautiful. Alrighty, I don't even know how to display that and have you guys see it. I probably could have like pinned it up and made like a tapestry out of it back here, but uh, not gonna happen right now. So just so you guys know, we have a lovely, super soft, fleecy, full-size blanket, which is much appreciated going into the colder months. Next, we've got a candle. This is Queen Catherine, Red Wine, Elderberry, and Lily of the Valley from Nobbly Yours Candle. Ooh, it's a lovely, like deep purple color. Ooh, ooh, this smells royal. It smells, um, I was gonna say, it smells like wine. So they nailed that. Mmm, that's a nice, it's like a really rich berry wine scent. And I don't know if my mind is just playing tricks on me because that's like the color that I'm getting. Ooh, that's like rich smelling. Okay, we've got a candle. We have another fabric item. What is this? What is this? I thought we already had a blanket. What is this? We've got another huge thing. Look at these queens. Look at these queens. Oh my god, look at look at her face. That's so cool. Oh my god. I love this. What is this? I think this is just like a blanket, another blanket. It's big, it's large, and in charge. One sec. Already I have consulted with the experts, aka the spoiler card. This is just a large tapestry, but it's soft. Like it's not as soft as like a fleece blanket or anything. It's definitely like thinner material than that, but it's like nice and soft and look at these queens oh my goodness i'm gonna need to like display something somewhere i'll be right back Alrighty, good enough we've got it propped up by some books back there i didn't think i was gonna need to like rearrange some shelves for this but i have a feeling i'm gonna run out of room really quick with all of the items in here so let's see the next thing is another folded up fabric item i just keep seeing huge fabric items this is going more pillowcasey to me I want revenge and then I want my crown. Oh my god, I love this print. I don't know why. I love botanical things. That's like my total aesthetic and this is this is my aesthetic. I also love really dark, morbid YA fantasy, so this is like the perfect pillowcase for me. We're just going to add that on top of the blanket. Okay. Okay, we still have items to go. Next, it looks like we have a little pin that is super cute. This is from SJ Wonderlands. And at first I thought this was the Hogwarts um, sigil, sigil, symbol, if you will, but it's not. It's like the different uh, queen's powers, if you know what I'm saying, like the naturalist elemental poisoner. I'll zoom in real quick so you guys can see this, but this pin is gorgeous. Just look at how awesome this is. Doesn't that totally look like the Hogwarts symbol at first? And then you're like, wait, there is a lion? There's not a lion on the Hogwarts crest, but 
Oh, I love this. This is so stinking cute. Next, we have a soap. This looks like the same company that we've gotten soap from in their regular like monthly boxes, and I've loved every one that I've gotten since. So this is Gillespie's Bookshop Soap Bar. This is roasted almonds, ancient tomes, cinnamon, clove, light musk, and librarian shushes. Oh, that's a great sense description. And this is just like a shea butter, very like nourishing soap, and usually they're pretty. I think this one is just a plain soap. But just in case, yeah, this is just a plain soap. Ooh, y'all, this smells like a fall beverage. Oh my god, this smells like a really good, like, ginger, like, cinnamon cookie. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, I'm excited for that one. That one is going in the bathroom for sure for the fall season. I'm excited to have that. Next, we have a little vial of, um... I'm hoping it's tea. Yeah. Okay. Priestess Luca's Calming Chamomile Tea. And this is really cute. It's in like a little vial, which is fitting for, you know, like there's a poisoner in the story. So this is very fitting. It has a little cork in it and it just has a little, it looks probably like a single brew worth of tea in it. And it's chamomile tea. Who doesn't love being calm with chamomile? So this is adorable. Next, we have a rolled up scroll. What is this going to be? I don't know. Um... I'm guessing an art print. Ooh, 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 this artwork is super glary. Look at her just sitting there with, oh my god, she even has her snake on her arm. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, so this is the numbered and signed print. So this is actually signed by Kendara Blake right there, and I got number 474 out of 500. Oh man, this is a really cool print. I actually really like this. Next, I think we are down to, no, there's still stuff in the bottom. Okay, so. We have the book in this book sleeve. Is this not the most perfect uh, fabric for this series? It has like all of the things. It has crowns, it has animals, it has like weeds. And by weeds, I mean like vines and tendrils. This is so perfect for the series. Of course, there's like no surprise that the book is obviously Five Dark Fates. It said it on the box. So um, no shocker there, but these are signed first editions that they got in here. So let's see, let's flip on through. There is the signature page and it looks like there is something tucked in the back. Oh, that's right. We did have exclusive content for this box. So this looks like, I think this is a deleted scene and it's a full page and back of the page. Oh, this is called the mainland. Ooh, I'm excited for this. So this was exclusive to Beacon Book Box. I knew that. So that's gonna be tucked right in the back of the book again so I don't lose that. In the bottom of the box, we have some art prints which look stunning. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna zoom in for close-ups of all of these for you guys, but we have four gorgeous prints in the bottom of this box and that is what completes this box. So these are character group prints and the artist is Diana Dwarik, I want to say. I totally recognize her artwork and she's one of my favorite fan artists. So we have group number one and then we have, oh my god, look at the bear. Oh, this is so great. I love this so much. So I'm guessing each of these are going to be the sisters. <gasps> look at her snake. I love it. Oh, look at this one. Oh, ooh, ooh, this might be my favorite one. I don't know, I like the bear one. And then back to these three. So those are the four prints that we got. That is everything that came in the Five Dark Face box. This was packed full. I am so excited about the blanket, the pillow, the wall tapestry, literally everything in this box is beautiful. Not only do I love this series, so like I'm excited to have merch from it because there isn't much merch from the series out yet. Um, it's my total aesthetic. Like it's dark, but it's also like twisty and flowery and nature driven. So it's like all of the things that I like looking at. So I love having items that are like incorporated in. Oh, I'm so excited about this. So that's going to be it for this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All of the beacon info will be down in the description. Rep codes, you can use my rep code on special edition boxes. As you guys have seen, I clearly recommend their special edition boxes. They are totally worth the money and more. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one.